Monday, May 6th. I did a voice gig just now, and this is a gig I just, I saw in my email that I got it, and it's not even something I auditioned for. There's a website, uh, usually it asks me to audition, and I get a couple of bucks just to audition, but this was just, here's the gig. So I just recorded that, but uh, there's so much loud construction outside right now. I brought my stand-up panels in, and I've blocked the windows here, and it seems to have helped, and the construction died down a little bit, so I took advantage of this little window. Uh, also, I've gotten a few more messages about the Blundstones, because I haven't posted that they were sold yet, so I've got to do that. But obviously, Blundstones are popular. Um, it's interesting selling these individual items, because you think, oh my gosh, I got 100 messages, that's good. But the problem is I'm not running a store. I don't have 100 pairs of Blundstones, I just have the one. Uh, but it makes me, I guess it gives you some uh, insight into what sells. So if I see Blundstones again, maybe I'll buy them. And what's really interesting is that I found, I think I literally found those on the sidewalk. So they're free, and I got 25 bucks. I'm going to go run on the treadmill now because I haven't exercised, uh, you know, I've been off for like a couple of months and I want to lose some weight because I might be uh, interviewing people at a show in a, in a week or 10 days and, actually, and, and also at the end of the month I'm going to New Orleans uh, with a friend so I want to be in shape for my traveling. Um, what was I going to say? I had something else to say. All oh, right, I posted yesterday asking if anybody has uh, sold a property and then gone to be a digital nomad because I was wondering if I could, you know, interview them or talk to them about their experiences. A lot of people keep posting, oh, you can never sell the property, your property prices keep going up, your value will keep going up, uh, it's impossible to be a digital nomad, you won't be able to stay with friends, or Airbnbs are expensive, or everybody's got a theory. Um, but I started Googling again, and I've read a bunch of these articles you know, recently, but I Google again, rent versus own. And then I Googled, uh, why do rich people rent versus owning? And there's some interesting articles, talks about how real, you know, why Will Smith might rent an apartment for six months if he's shooting a movie, uh, because he rents it on behalf of Will Smith Inc. And then he can expense the, the, uh, the, I guess, expense it, uh, as a tax deduction against all the money he's making. And also, um, rich people know that, you, you should use money to make money, and sinking all your money into a property that you live in doesn't make... Okay, I ran for an hour, <sighs> watched the Gary V podcast where he talked about why he doesn't want to buy another home, and then I watched him apologize for that and clarify on another uh, call that he videotaped, and then I watched a, a real estate investor confirm what Gary is saying. Whew, lots to talk about, but if you're thinking about buying a home, talk to me first, because I've learned a lot about this. And uh, it's not necessarily the best thing to do. Oh, and I did not run for, run for an hour. I ran for 45 minutes and I did weights for 15 minutes because I got to go sell my pom-poms now. That sounds wrong.